Oh, biggin. Oh, biggin. Biggin, 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 biggin. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay. We are both very excited for today's episode because, as you can see behind us, we've traveled to an enormous spillway. And today, we're going to be doing some catfishing. But what's got us really excited is the bait we're going to be using today to catch these catfish. So, Jay, reach down there, grab that bucket. We collected some very fine specimens today to use for bait. Take a look in here, guys. Behold, the world's greatest catfish bait. Oh, baby. Catapa worms. Look at that. We got those fresh off of a catapa tree this morning, and there is a bunch of them in there. We got like 30 or 40 in there, good sized ones, and catfish cannot resist them, can they? No, they cannot. They are full of this like stinky green juice, and I think that's what attracts the catfish to them. I mean, they are a delicacy. They're, they're not out at all times of the year, so you got to use them while you can. You get some juice on you? Yeah, I got some juice. Look at that. Ugh. Nasty green juice. That's the what? nectar. That's the catfish <laughs> nectar. So what we're going to do, we're going to take those top worms. we got a bunch of rods down here. We're going to take them down here below the spillway. And we're going to fire them out there and see how many catfish we can catch and do a little catch and cook for you guys. Woo! That sound good? That sounds great. All right, let's get down there. Let's go. We just made it down here to the bottom of the spillway and the water looks great. Let's get some lines bedded up and let's see if we can catch some catfish. Oh, fish line. What do I got? Is it a crappie? Oh, what? The slab. Queen strikes again with a crappie. Not what I was fishing for, but I'll take that. We will take a slab <laughs> crappie. Any cr slab crappie love top worms too. I don't think I've ever caught a crappie with a top worm. I do not. I've caught a bunch of them on it, and they love it. I was not expecting that today. Me either. Hey, but he's gonna go on the stringer. He's gonna be some good eating. <laughs> That's exciting. I got one. I'm hooked up. I'm hooked up. Oh, it's a little guy. It's a little guy. Jay just caught a crappie. I had my catfish rod sitting out here. And I've got our first catfish. Check that out. It's a little tiny channel cat. It's not the size we're after. But we don't, you don't need to be much bigger. Let's toss him back in there. It's just a little guy. Thank you. I'm going to cast this back out and we're going to get Jay's crappie on the stringer. It's about to be non-stop action out here, baby. Oh, biggin. Oh, biggin. Biggin, 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 biggin. Biggin. Big old fish. I don't know what this is. This is a catfish, it's a biggin. Oh, baby. Cole's got a biggin. Oh, it's not a catfish, I don't think. What is it, a drum? I think it's a drum. That didn't look like a catfish. Oh, Where's is that a catfish? I don't know. I didn't see it. Oh, it's a catfish. It's a big Whoa! old catfish. Oh my gosh, it is a catfish. Wow. Get out of the rocks. Get out of the rocks. On the top horn. On the top horn. Come down, Daddy. Oh, man. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. It's been non-stop action since we got here, guys. And I've literally thrown this same catapa worm out, like four casts. Woo, look at that one. Nice. That's the channel cat we were after today. It's probably about a four pounder. Smoked that catapa worm. My rod, I said it stuck in a rock and my rod was about to get pulled in the water. I was like, oh snap. <laughs> That's what's up. Let's get that big boy on the stringer and let's get back out there and catch some more. Fishing. We got doubles. That's a big old crappie, Jay. That's a big old crappie. Holy cow. Holy cow. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. Ah! Holy 
How's about that for our first double up of the day? I got a tiny little catfish. Look at that. That crappie is bigger than the catfish. Loud crappie. Hold on, let me get this catfish off the line here. Let's take a look at that crappie. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> that is so freaking sweet. Look at that top of worm in his mouth. Dang. That thing is a slab and a half. Heck that yeah. thing is huge. Whoa, wasn't expecting to catch one this size. Dang, we've got more crappie on the stringer than we do catfish all of a sudden. Maybe this is my um, new favorite uh, crappie bait. Yeah, we might have to change our tactics a little bit. We might have to swap over and fish for some crappie here we in a little bit. We might have to. Man, as well as our biting these catapult worms, we Woo. got some jigs. That is sick. Way to go, Jay. Give me a little fish bump. Uh. Fish bump. Let's get him on the stringer. Man, look at that. Dude, it's a hammer. What a hoss. Woo! There we go, hooked up. Feels like I got a pretty decent one. I can't tell how big he is. Feels like a decent catfish. Oh yes, another keeper. Another keeper. Get up here, boat flip. Let's go, there we go. There we go, another nice little kitty cat. That's the size we're after. Oh my, oh my gosh, I just caught my fish and Jay is hooked up with another one. It was basically in the exact same spot. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh my no, gosh. Hold on to him, baby. Woo. Nice. Oh yeah, that's another good one. It's another good one. He might be bigger than this one I have. I think he is. Okay, let him, let him fight. Oh, he's pulling drag. <laughs> oh, it's a really decent fish. Really Woo. decent catfish. Oh, yeah, Oh okay, I'm going down there and get him for you. Oh, okay. I'm going down there. Coming down. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's Grab your what I'm fish. About. Now that's the kind of double up we're after right there. Oh, nice yeah. channel catch. Yours is like twice the size of mine. That's perfect. You're just about a three oh. three pounder or so. Yeah. This is about a pound and a half. Perfect that eating size catfish. the same spot that you caught yours in. I know, I know, it's crazy. <laughs> and what's crazy, we weren't paying attention on both times. I had my rod between my legs, I was messing with my other fishing pole, and you were helping me video this one whenever that went off. So I guess we just need to pay less attention to our stuff. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we got another one. It is chaos. It is chaos, this is a big one. This is a big one. Oh my goodness. What is going on out here? All of a sudden, they are just going off like crazy. I got my other one down here in the rocks. Hopefully, he doesn't get away. Jay's got her fish on the bank, and this is another good one. Oh, it's bigger than the other ones. It's bigger than the other ones. Bigger than the other ones. Oh, big old big one. Oh, my goodness. Big old big one. He might be bigger than the first one we caught. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a good one. It's a good one. Coming down. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Got those rocks. Oh. Got those rocks. Come on, baby. That's a good one, bro. Oh, wow, it is. Look at that. Come on. Come on. Woo! -hoo! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is insane. We've got three catfish at one time. I'm still holding mine. I'm trying to video you. Think, yeah, mine's down there in the rocks. That's insane. That's another like four or five pounder, and it was literally sitting right beside the rocks, like 10 feet off the bank. I'm not even kidding. The last few fish we caught have been closer to the bank. Maybe we need to fish closer. We've been casting pretty far out, but it definitely seems like they're up close. That's a nice channel cat. We've got some serious meat on the stringer now. Yeah, Two nice crappie, and I guess that's gonna be four catfish. Gotta love that. All right, I just got my two catfish corralled and on the stringer. Let's take a second to appreciate Jay's nice catch. Yeah, you had to go and catch one bigger than me. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean for that. I didn't even know that that rod it's had bait. A, it's okay. I'm I, totally not mad. I literally did not know it had any bait on. That's a that nice was, channel cat. That was total catfish chaos. I know. That was crazy. All three rods that we had went off within like a five minute period. Whew. That's insane. But we got them all. We got them all on stringer. We've got ourselves a nice mess of catfish. If we don't catch any more, we've done We're really, good. really good. <laughs> Oh 
my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. Oh man, we're hooked up on the spinning rod. This is a big one. This is a big one. Oh my gosh, he's stripping drag. He is stripping drag, look at that. Oh my gosh, stay out of those rocks. Get over here. We're gonna have to go chase this fish. I think I have to chase that fish over there. This is a good one. Don't let him get away. Come on, baby, this is the one we need. This is the catfish we need. And I think we'll have plenty of fish for dinner tonight. He's coming back to us. Oh, this is on light tackle though. This is 10 pound braid, eight pound fluorocarbon leader. I just saw my bobber. There's a big boil behind it too. Oh, the other pole's in the water. Hopefully it doesn't go off. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Look at that, guys. Woo! Oh my gosh, I love catfishing this way. This is so much fun. Oh, yeah, those rocks. Maybe you should go down there. I'm going. Oh. oh! Here he goes, about to show himself. We got him out of the rocks. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There's more rocks right here. Come on, baby. Out of those rocks. You see the bobber. Out of the rocks. Out of the rocks. Out of the rocks. This is getting scary. Oh, he's big. Holy cow, he's a monster. He is a monster. Oh, my arm is sore. He's trying to go back to the rocks. Come on, big guy. Oh, there he is. Dang. There you go, that's another nice one. He's about gas. I'm going to land him over here. That's a nice one. Light tackle, eight pound test. It's top of worm. That thing is gobbled up in there. Oh, Woo! oh, oh, oh. He's still got some fight He's in got him. a lot of fight in him. That is an awesome fish. Oh my gosh. I knew those top worms would work today. <laughs> they are the best bait of all time. Heck yeah. That's a big one. Woo, look at that. All right guys, got that guy on the stringer. Check out our haul of catfish today. Woo! Look at that. This thing is heavy. We've got several nice fish on here and a couple of nice slabs, courtesy of the Slab Queen. What an amazing, <laughs> amazing trip out here to the spillway today. And we caught all those fish on the top worm, the best live bait of all time. But I think we have plenty of fish now on the stringer. Hoist them up again so you guys can see them. We're gonna load them up back up the hill, take them to the truck, and we're gonna take them home, get them cleaned up, and we're gonna cook them up for dinner. Let's go. All right guys, just made it back home with the fish. We're about ready to clean them. As you guys can probably see back there, I've got the grill fired up. We're gonna be grilling some delicious, hot and spicy catfish fillets tonight for dinner. Let's pull a fish out of the cooler so you guys can see him. You know, look at these big old boys. I think we have three catfish this size and then two that are a little bit smaller. And then we have those two slab crappies. They're gonna be a lot of fun to clean. We're gonna be cleaning them with an electric fillet knife. This is the Bubba corded electric fillet knife. I love this knife a lot. And we're gonna be using the nine inch E-Flex blades. Let's get to work. All right, we got our fish all cleaned up. Take a look at these bad boys right here. These are the ones we're gonna be eating tonight. Ooh. Some beautiful white fillets. And our grill is all heated up now, so all we have to do is put these bad boys on there, cook them for a little bit, and we'll, and we'll be ready to eat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some spicy grilled catfish. So I've got this little concoction here in this little bag that I'm gonna marinate those in just for a minute before I throw them on. It's basically a mix of the Slap Your Mama hot wet sauce, some Slap Your Mama dry seasoning, and some blackened redfish magic. I really love this stuff. It's a really good blend. Also tonight, we're gonna be grilling some veggies. Take a look at this little spread right here. It's kind of hidden in the foil. These are all fresh from the garden. We've got some zucchini, some squash, and Alessia red bell pepper that we're very eager to see how it tastes. Mm -hmm. Grew it from seed this year. Really excited to eat that. It's just a great thing to do in the summertime. You know, have some fresh catfish and fresh homegrown veggies. It's gonna be amazing. So let's throw some of these guys in this bag here, get them all swished up, get them looking nice. I've got these trimmed where there's no red meat on the catfish. We don't want any of that yucky mud line nasty taste we just want the pure just delicious white filet might be too much for the bag let's just start with that you guys can kind of see what it looks like in the bag right there that's the goal right there mm. get them all seasoned up get them all super spicy it's gonna be so delicious all right we're ready to add our fish i'm cooking the fish and the veggies in aluminum foil today just because my grill grade is slightly questionable 
it's it's seen better <laughs> days. <laughs> so we're gonna we're not gonna risk uh, you know getting some uh, what do you call it some rust in our fish. We're just gonna make it nice and easy on us. Look at those guys. That looks so dang good. There we go. Catfish is in place. Let's cover it up, let it cook for a little bit, and uh, let's see how we do. There it is, guys. There is our final creation. We have the spicy grilled catfish, the assorted garden veggies grilled with some nice seasonings, and then, you know, a fresh bag of brown rice. That is an amazing looking plate, and we cannot wait to try it out. What you gotta say about it, Cypress? How would you rate that plate out of a one out of a hundred? He said, that looks amazing, but I know that my milk is warming and it's gonna be so much better. Yeah, the milky <laughs> is gonna be way better than this rice, but one day you'll be able to appreciate this, won't you, boy? Oh yeah, and but not today. <laughs> he's done the thing that we did in the past. He woke up right at dinner time. He always yeah. does this. He like knows that I'm about to eat, I think. And yeah. he's like, mm, hang on, me first. Yeah, Cypress always gets to go first, so we're gonna have to try to Make sure this doesn't get cold so we can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> but look at it. I am proud of that. That looks so delicious. All right, Baby C's got his milky, but we're gonna try to do the taste test while Jay is feeding Cypress simultaneously. <laughs> the food is still hot. We don't want it to get cold. So let's go in for a piece of catfish. I know you guys will freak out if we didn't, if we left this part out of the video. So let's give this a try. Here we go. We've got our grilled spicy catfish. Oh my gosh, I know it's gonna be good. <laughs> that is fantastic. Is it? Here you go, Jay. Oh. <laughs> oh dang. What you feel about that? Oh, that is really good. It's really good. And it's honestly not too spicy, but there's it's definitely really definitely a good spice. Um, we get the good flavor of the catfish and the seasonings. Oh my Ooh, gosh, it is so, so good. That is really good, Cole. Next, I'm gonna go in for some of these garden veggies. I'm really excited about this pepper. This is a piece of pepper that we grew this summer. It's a Lesia bell pepper. It's supposed to be super sweet and super delicious. So let's see how that goes. Yo. <laughs> Yummy. Yo, that is the best pepper I've ever had in my life. Peppers are my favorite vegetable. I know. That is literally the best pepper I've ever had really? in my entire Let life. Let me try it. That is literally the best pepper. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. Get that zucchini. Get that squash out of here. <laughs> This is so awkward. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't that good? That is mm -hmm. sweet. That is sweet. That is so good. I should have made, I should have planted oh. more plants. I only have one plant of that what? outside in the garden. It has a lot of peppers on it, but I wish I had more. Ooh, that's Holy so smokes. Good. We're defi definitely going to have to grow more of that next year. Maybe we can get some more seeds going for the fall harvest, maybe. That pepper is <laughs> dang good. I'm glad that there's like eight or nine peppers on that plant that aren't ripe yet, so that's exciting. That's super exciting. We'll get a little bite of these zucchinis. This is a, uh, in case you're wondering, this is a Costata Romanesca zucchini. It's Italian. The Italians are supposedly the best zucchini makers. <laughs> I don't know. I watched it on a YouTube video. Let's see how it is. Mmm. Yeah, Italy knows what's up about their um, <laughs> zucchinis. That was also very good. Also very good. And, you know, I'm not going to do the rice. You know, it's, it's just rice, but... We got the uh, the major taste testing out of the way. The catfish is phenomenal. The grilled veggies are absolutely amazing. We're gonna be cooking more and more fish like this this summer. I mean, look at this, guys. I didn't show you this. You better not spill that. There's what's left over of our fish. We barely even put a dent in it. That is insane. Whew. What an amazing dinner. Cypress, you need to drink that milky quickly so mommy yeah. can get some more of hers. We have hers <laughs> underneath some uh, aluminum foil right here. It'll be fine. But anyways, guys, this is where we're going to end today's episode. We had a phenomenal time at the spillway today. We literally only fished for like an hour and a half, and we had all that action. It yeah. was literally nonstop. And that one catch where we had three fish at one time was just insane. <laughs> we were so pumped that we were able, that we were able to catch some big catfish for y'all today on the Catawba worms. And like we said, the Catawba worms aren't around all the time, but we have, you know, a pretty good stash of them. So we'll probably go back out to some more catfishing spots and try to use them again and try to catch some more, especially with how well these fish yeah. turned out tonight. Yeah. But anyways, we hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If so, do us a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. We're Colin and Jay, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, Bye guys.